In the conversation, thank you, Pete. Uh, Republican Congressman Mo Brooks of Alabama, who sits on the Armed Services Committee. Uh, Congressman, thank you for joining me. Um, let's talk My a little pleasure. bit about uh, the FBI director who's uh, scheduled to brief Senators Grassley and Feinstein this afternoon. There's a lot of answers that people are looking for. Um, do you believe it's the time, it is the time right now, at least on wiretapping, considering that Devin Nunes and Adam Schiff weren't able to find any, any evidence of that or don't have any as of now? Is it time for the president? President, uh, to hand over the evidence that he says he has? Well, this is a very serious charge when one administration is accusing another administration of having engaged in what is in fact illegal conduct. And I do believe that it's uh, incumbent upon the accuser to share, certainly with law enforcement agencies, perhaps with the public, whatever information it has that substantiates those very serious charges. We'll see how it plays out. I'm not in the White House. I'm not on the uh, Senate committee that is investigating this matter. And I'm certainly not a member of any of the federal investigative agencies that may be looking into it. But I hope this can be resolved and resolved quickly. As a member of Congress, does it frustrate you that time is being spent uh, searching for evidence when the president says he has it, instead of getting things done like uh, passing a health care bill or any of the, the rest of the Republican agenda? Uh, no, because I don't see there being any direct relationship between this investigation about an alleged wiretapping of one administration by another administration and the other work that needs to be done. Uh, there are 435 congressmen, there are 100 senators, there's a president with a very large staff. Uh, we can do many things simultaneously. And so I've seen any adverse effect uh, on our doing these other matters that need to be done. Uh, I will say that the media has shifted attention from some of these other matters uh, to the president's statement and to the wiretapping issue. Uh, but that's something y'all are doing. That's not something that is in fact that is affecting uh, what we're doing uh, in the halls of Congress. Well, are you saying the, it's the media's fault that we're taking what the president says seriously? I mean, you're, you're no, I'm not saying it's the fault of the media it. at all. I think the media is doing what they're doing because it enhances your ratings, which in turn enhances enhances your profit margins, and that's fine. You don't you think uh, it's our it's ratings? Saying, that's why we're talking about the president well, okay. accusing another president of wiretapping him. That's ratings. Let, let me give you an example. You had a story early on, and I'm thankful that you brought it up about the Federal Reserve increasing um, one rate by as much as a quarter of a percent. This is a really huge story. And we led the huge, newscast with it. Yeah, let, let, me, let me continue with it. It's a huge story because if that acts as an impetus to increase the cost of the federal government to borrow money, that just increased our debt service costs by roughly $50 billion a year. That's how much the federal government is now spending on all of our highway transportation, okay? And so uh, you guys choose the stories that y'all want to talk about. And if you want to choose wiretapping, that's fine. I'm not disagreeing uh, with what you're saying, but I am saying that there are a lot of other things that are much more, well, I don't know if they're more substantive, but they certainly are important to the future of our country. And this story about the Federal Reserve increasing interest rates, when you've got a $20 trillion debt, one fourth of 1% of that is 50 billion if that interest rate at the federal rate uh, at the federal government, uh, federal reserve level, excuse me, uh, transfers over to how much we have to pay in interest on bonds issuance that fund the federal government. Congressman, we led our newscast with that, so thank you for pointing. And, and secondly, there is a hearing underway on Capitol Hill talking about wiretapping and talking about uh, information being searched or asked for by the FBI and from the DOJ. So we are choosing to cover what is going on in Washington, and that is what is going on in Washington. And my question to you is, because we are covering this, because that is what is going on in Washington, do you have a message to say your president to say, hey, if you're going to make an accusation, why not produce the evidence so that everybody's not running around searching for the evidence when you say you have it? Well, I'm, I'm agreeing with you that it's incumbent upon uh, President Trump to share with investigative agencies and the American people 
whatever information he had about a prior administration wiretapping him. I'm not disagreeing with that at all. What I am emphasizing because of one of your prior questions is that we in Congress can do many different things at the same time. And whatever this wiretapping investigation may be about or where, what it may yield ultimately, that does not affect our ability one iota to deal with health care issues, to deal with tax issues, to deal with a myriad of legislation that we're passing in the House of Representatives on a daily basis. And we in the news media can cover many different stories at the same time yes. as well, which we are doing. Congressman Mo Brooks of Alabama, thank you for joining us this hour. Uh, Ari Melber, let's talk a little bit about um, wiretapping. But why? why? Well, I know. It's not, it's not a big story. <laughs> um, uh, there's, there's 